Okay, so for how I'm not ruining for anybody. I'm not gonna ruin just between me and you. Alright? When you walked out, how many lines did you have originally in the movie? I said what I was supposed to say in the movie. I said everything I was supposed to say. Good point for that, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You like it? You like it? I appreciate you. I'm gonna try to you. swap, I got you. Say, a quick question I gotta ask you. Being a part of this film, how was it? The dynamic of the cast and everything. Kind of tell me how you thought about it with that. I mean, I actually auditioned for the first shot. I lost out to Buster Rhymes. So he must have did a hell of a job because I'm a hell of an actor anyway. Um, Neither here nor there. <laughs> Sam, when the opportunity came to be in this shaft, I jumped at it. I had no idea who was in it at the time. I just heard Sam Jackson in shaft, jumped at it, Tim Storby, fan of his. And um, the whole time I was on set, it was very comfortable. Everybody was very accommodating. And just watching Jesse work, I think the series is in good hands. Great hands. Seeing, I mean, for many, this is going to, like, bridge the gap between father, son, grandfather, great-grandfather, those three generations together in this film. How does it feel to have this as two black men and this film together? This is going to come out on Father's Day. I mean, this has got to have some good vibes. Even though, you know, Sam like a deadbeat dad in this movie, a little something, something, you know. Yeah, right in time for Father's Day. What a great, great picture to put out for black men on Father's Day. No, I'm joking. Um, honestly, when the movie Shaft came out, we hadn't seen anybody do anything like that with our skin color. So it was great to see Richard Roundtree, you know, set the past for what's coming now, you know. And like I said earlier, Sam did an excellent job when he took over, and I believe Jesse is going to do the same thing. And um, with Tim Story at the helm, I have a feeling that people are really going to enjoy this movie. It's going to be a bit different than what the first one was, but a lot more entertaining. Thank you. Hi, it's a pleasure. Nice to meet you. It's an honor to meet you. Thank you. Do you hear my vacation while here, correct? I do. When I can vacation. I know, you've been getting so much going on. I know. How do you manage your time? I don't sleep. I figured it out. I just don't sleep. I work so much, I don't sleep. But I am happy to be here. I'm the ambassador of the 2019 ABFF Film Festival, and it's so exciting. There's so much amazing talent in Miami right now. We're going to check out the Shaft premiere. I'm super excited for that. It's just going to be a great couple of days. How do you feel to all of these you know, filmmakers, actors, actors of color, just really just opening up doors and doing amazing things in the industry? Maybe two years ago, it might not have been. It's so inspiring. It makes you feel like you can do anything. You know, the opportunities are there. You have to collaborate with each other, work together, and this is the place to make those connections. And, you know, beautiful things happen out of ABFF, so that's why I'm happy to be here and happy to be the ambassador this year. Final question. What's the biggest thing you look forward to every year coming up? Um, you just never know what movies you're going to see, what shirts you're going to see, who you're going to run into. The panels are always so inspiring. I know this year we have some amazing panels set up. You just got to get out here, mix and mingle, and great things always happen. Thank you. It's a pleasure talking to you. But the first film, 1971. Right? Did you believe that in 2019 it would be what it is today? 29 year old kid who was in his first movie for MGM, uh, Lion World, and I was just so 
happy to have a job. I had, I had no expectations. I was just so happy for 14 weeks to be in this fantastic film and be under the tutelage, if you will, of Gordon Parks. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and to see the, the hands and legs. I'm saying I'm in the third quarter. <laughs> This football game, the coach is throwing me in again. Hey, let's get it on. <laughs> I mean, being fast forward now to 2019, you've got Samuel Jackson, you've got this young man, Mr. Usher, behind you. I mean, did you have to feel like the man, the, the, like the teacher in, during this film? Like, who was the, the dynamic like making the film? No, wait a minute. You know who Samuel Jackson is? Okay. Everybody's got a, everybody learns a little something. Oh, you're the, you're the man. You're the, you're considered the first black superhero for many people back in the 70s. I, Primarily just sat down and watched. I watched a kid come of age. My son got it in. He was a team. And occasionally he would look over his shoulder at me. You did it. You did it. I still got it. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> you damn right. right? <laughs> you said that out loud, too. Don't worry about it. But my last question, what is the biggest hope that you want people to get out of this Shaft film? Generally speaking, to see the millennium, the middle guard, if you will, and the old man, to see how they meld in fatherhood and parenting, it was a beautiful thing. And we opened the film in Father's Day. That's a beautiful thing. Everything that I could have imagined, they were like, they were that as much. And they were actually very hands on. They helped me get through a lot of things in this movie. They like. And thank you so much for checking out our NBC6 South Florida YouTube channel. You want more? I know you do. We got you covered. Click right here on the button right below. That is the subscribe button where you can get more videos just like the one you watched. You'll get the latest stories, interviews, caught on camera, and those only in Florida stories you know you love. Digital exclusives, too, all for you. So subscribe right now.